Hi guys, so as well as being a teacher in Holy Trinity at the weekends, I do a bit of gymnastics coaching. So when Mr. Henry asked me to find my 20, I decided it would be a handstand. So I'm gonna give you five different exercises that you can try for one minute each day. And if you repeat that four times, that'll be 20 minutes of exercises to help you either learn how to do a handstand or to perfect your handstand. So keep watching and I'll teach you the four exercises or the five exercises that you can do. Okay, the first exercise is called the T, and this is to practice the lunge up into our handstand. So to do this, you're gonna to need to know your lead leg. If you're unsure of what your lead leg is, ask someone to gently push you from behind, and whatever leg you naturally step forward onto is your lead leg. So for me, it's my right leg. So I'm gonna be making the T with my left leg and my upper body. Okay, so we're gonna start with our arms up, step forward on my lead leg, and hold your T. So you're gonna hold the T position for three seconds, come back down and repeat that for 30 seconds. Once you've completed the T for 30 seconds, take a 30 second rest and then you can move on to exercise number two. I'm using a mat for this, but you don't need a mat, but you will need some surface that you can press your hands against. So a door, a wall, a press, or I'm using the edge of the couch and also something soft, so a pillow or a teddy. And this exercise works the body shape of the handstand. So it's all about being really, really tight all the way from our legs, all the way through to our hands. So we're gonna start off lying on our backs on either the mat or on the floor. You're gonna put your soft teddy or pillow between your legs. And you're gonna lie down flat and put your palms flat against the surface. Here, we're gonna squeeze really tight. So again, you're gonna hold that for three seconds then take a rest and hold it for three seconds again and repeat until 30 seconds is up. The next exercise is similar to exercise number two. And it's also working the shape of our handstand. So you'll need your pillow or your teddy again. And this time you're gonna be doing the same thing but lying on your tummy. So pressing your hands flat against the surface again and really working at squeezing your legs tight. If you want an extra test, you can ask someone at home to try to pull your legs apart. And if you're really nice and tight like you should be in a handstand, that won't be very easy. So I'm going to put my soft toy between my feet, onto my tummy, hands flat. And again, you're going to hold that for three seconds, take a rest and repeat for 30 seconds. Okay, for exercise number four, we're going to be working on the other part of the handstand. So part one is the tightness of the body, and part two is being able to hold your weight on your wrists. So this exercise will practice your upper body strength, keeping your wrists nice and tight. So you're gonna need a chair, a couch, a bed, anything that's higher, preferably at your knee or a bit higher. So you're gonna kneel down and you're gonna pop your hands on the ground and you're gonna tuck your heels up to your bum, tuck your chin into your chest and hold. See, so can you hold it for five seconds, then take a rest and repeat for 30 seconds and then take your 30 second rest. Okay, exercise number five is quite like exercise number four, but it's a little bit of a step up. So this is also working on the upper part of our handstand. It's called a half handstand because it's just working from hands all the way up our back. So the aim of this is to have a straight line from your wrists all the way up your back to your bum that's pointing in the air. Okay, so you're gonna have your hands on the ground, keep them nice and close to your body, and you're gonna push up onto toes and squeeze. So again, try to hold it for five seconds. If you can hold it for longer, do. Repeat for 30 seconds and take a 30 second rest. Okay, if we repeat those five exercises four times, that will be your 20 minutes. And if you do that for 20 days, hopefully you'll see a great improvement in your handstand or it might be a new skill. So let's have a look at putting everything together.